So here we have the Falcon FQ50 from Hick Micro. As you can see, this is a dedicated thermal monocular. It doesn't have um, the sort of fusion capability. It doesn't have a laser rangefinder. It is a straight up thermal monocular. So it manages to focus a bit more on that. As you can see in Tom's jacket there at 50 yards, Grouse's definition there, the, um, the sub 20 millikelvin really is coming to its own, own, uh, own effect. And what we will do is we'll just change through the modes there. So your black hot, obviously depending on the situation that you're in uh, as to what, um, what color palette may be best. And so we'll just go through the sort of purpley fusion color and then onto the red hot, really, really drawing out of the target. So Tom, you can see he's obviously quite well insulated there. Whereas Grouse obviously is giving off quite a lot of heat. So as I say, if you saw that, that is a full male sized Labrador. So you saw that sort of a bit bigger than what you'd expect a fox to be. Um, but I say if, uh, if you saw that, you'd be clearly able to identify what it is. Just moving back there onto White Hot as they get to 100 yards. Again, you can quite clearly see what's going on. I'll just mag in ever so slightly. Obviously, very, very visible indeed right up to eight times so it's Thomas just adjusting the target we've been having to play with and then back down to one times and see so I'm just gonna go scanning around the fields here uh, you can just just about see some see some sheep just at the top there obviously they are quite covered by the trees but the heat is still ever so slightly picked up just as there you go Tom mooching up to the 150 yard mark still got the dog with him I say the dog obviously being the key factor here because it is more relatable to a target uh, and it's quite clearly visible uh, so nice and easy to identify as you can see on the field actually here you can see where there have been some previous tracks of various quad bikes motor vehicles all that sort of stuff but we'll just flick through the pallets there just at the distance just so and i think black cop for this particular situation just in the middle of the afternoon does tend to work best so it's really drawing it out a bit more i'll just zoom in and you can still quite clearly see the identification and exactly what it is you're looking at. There's not too much pixelation just there as that refreshes. Again, four times, still see a very good identification indeed. And again, eight times, we do get that bit of pixelation. But let's go back to two times, one time, sorry. There you have a nice crystal clear image just as they walk up on the brow, which is just shy of 200 yards on the top there. And you can see the details of the fence just running along as they just make their way up to the top and there you have it so we've had a human and a uh, dog sized target walking up from 50 yards right through to 200 yards um, as you can quite clearly see they, it does work very efficiently with that sub 20 millikelvin really kicking in and giving the identification that you need and that is the falcon fq50 pro from hick micro